Hello, my name is Dennis. I'm with my wise guys, and we're going to show you how to back up your iPhoto library. It's uh, rather simple, but uh, some people ask me, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, if you have a DVD or CD, you can use that to back up your iPhoto. Um, currently, where you're going to use a DVD, and you'll want to make sure you're selected on your library and photos. On a DVD, uh, which is about 4.5 gigabytes of data capable, um, you're able to back up about 6,872, right around there, so less than 7,000 photos. As you see, I have a bigger library, 12,000. So what you have to do is you have to select how many photos, um, or select the photos you want to back up. In your first on your first DVD, and then you'll select the rest of them on your second DVD. Um, if you have less than you know 6,800 photos, then you can just select all your photos by doing an edit, select all, and um, then you'll come to see if you notice at the very top I have these pictures all selected as backups. So you do sh um, share, then burn. So as you, as you notice, your pictures are selected. You're going to share and burn those photos. So burn. It's going to come up with. You'll want to make sure your DVD is already in the drive. It'll show you that it's red. It'll say disk is full available because it's going to use 4.4 gigabytes. Um, this will turn green. See, let me deselect some. And you'll see it go down here. Let me go all the way up here. And I'll deselect some of these. See, it starts turning a different color. So that's probably the safest way. <clears throat> On the bottom here, it says iPhoto Library 121409, which is today's date. So that's the title of your DVD. So when you insert the DVD, it's going to show up with this. So you may want to say iPhoto Library Backup or whatever's going to help you. And of course, the date that you backed it up. Then, now that once you have your title set, your photo selected, you just click on Burn. And it says, hey, I'm burning 6,864 photos out of a total of 12,693 photos. Burn. And then there it goes. It starts burning. It's that easy. Um... And once it's done burning, and let's say you wiped your drive and now you want to import them, <clears throat> all you'll do is you'll come up to iPhoto and click at the very top. It'll be File, Import to Library. It's grayed out because it's busy burning. But you'll just click on Import to Library and you'll select your, your title, iPhoto Library 1214. And it will import all the photos back in. And that's all there is to it. It's that easy. Alrighty, hopefully this was informative for you. It was just a quick and dirty demo on how to back up photos and iPhoto for you. Take care.